Hi again. Today we're going to learn how to make bubble print paper. This is kind of a messy art lesson, so you need a grown-up to help you. I'm going to show you all the things that you need, and then when you're done, I'll show you some things that you can do with your bubble prints. Here we go. For this project, we're going to use food coloring, dishwashing soap, water, and some shallow containers. Have a couple of straws. You could use a spoon or a paintbrush. And I used half sheets of paper. I have a large sheet of newsprint underneath my baking tray and everything on the baking tray so things don't get too messy. You need about a half a cup of water added to the container, about a teaspoon of dish soap, stir the soap in. I like to use a brush, it seems to mix things nicely. And then a generous amount of food coloring. Give that a little stir. Now the fun part for making bubble prints. Make sure you're blowing out of the straw. The bottom of the straw should touch the bottom of the container. And once you have a nice amount of bubbles on top of your container, take your paper and press down. You can press down several times to add more bubbles. For children, it's helpful to have a bendy straw to always know which side you're using with your mouth and which side goes in the container. And if they're having trouble blowing enough air, you could always cut the straw a little smaller. If you make more than one color, you can make bubble prints in multicolors on one sheet of paper. The bubble print water also makes a great paint. If you don't have any paint at home, maybe take some time and just use it as paint. If you don't have a paintbrush, another thing that could work are some Q-tips. I hope you had fun making your bubble print paper. Now that your paper is dry, what are some things you can do with it to make some artwork? Here's some ideas. Here's some things that I did. On my blue printed bubble paper, I thought the background looked kind of like the water, so I made a drawing of a fish. I just used a Sharpie and crayons. My yellow bubble printed paper I thought looked like fuzzy chicks, and it's springtime. So I cut some pieces of my yellow bubble paper into little chick shapes. I added some little orange beaks and feet, and I put some little grass for them to be walking on. So if you wanted to make a spring picture of baby chicks, you could do that. With my bubble print water, we painted those rainbows and I took some of my bubble paper to make clouds and cut out my rainbow and made a collage just of that. And then the last thing I did was I used one of my, only half a piece actually, of the bubble paper in the, the red bubbles and I made a vase. One of your projects on your choice board is to do an artwork of a vase of flowers. So I did mine with bubble print paper for the vase. And these are some leftover pieces of pattern paper that we made when we did our um, hearts or words of hope. So if you did keep some of those papers to collage, you could collage. If you just wanna use the bubble print to make the vase, you could draw or, or paint all of the flowers on the background paper. It's up to you. I hope you had fun making bubble prints and artwork from them. Bye.